found that wood of key, so let's give a quick rub of the file. Now let's see if we're getting this off. So will we do that? A bit of a truss bear in there. That comes up out of there. Right. I presume this is a press fit bearing. So I would imagine it to be careful here we don't go damaging the case and that's when it taps out. I'm gonna give it a very light tap of plastic hammer and see how we get on. Plastic hammer there somewhere. out we'll be able to give her from the clean nice and easy how are we looking we're looking good no bending or anything like that I don't want anything like that happening no damage to the commutator as well, don't want that happening. Okay, it is coming. We'll give it a light tap just to get it over the last bit. It's just that last little bit. It's proven to be a little bit, so that's where we're looking there now. It's just a uh, nearly there probably just a bit of damage on this so what i might do put it on timber tap it back down and clean up that shaft a bit Clean this shaft up a bit with sandpaper, it's just probably a little bit dirty, so I'm gonna grab I might grab it in the vice at all. I might just grab it there. Yeah, there's a bit of damage there. I hit that with the file. See, that was just where I was getting caught. A bit damage from where I was poking out that Woodruff key, so let's lower that there a bit. Good bit of damage on it now that I'm cleaning it up from years that people it was years ago overhauling it, holding it in the vice and all of that. So I can see if there are any very obvious bars there. tight again there if it is we'll do the same job again because I don't want to damage anything it's a little bit catchy there that's all
won't take much to bend this case and so it's the best place to grab it and to at least make sure I have a good grab on it and it's definitely just the bear and race Lovely, lovely jubbly. That's that. And then we have our bearing in here. So now we're going to give all that a good clean down. Tape it off. Shop blast it. I think that's what I'll do with that. And then I'll be able to hit this with the, the drill then. Keep the shop blast and stuff over there. I don't want that going in. That should keep that right. That should keep that right. So that'll be ready now for a uh, clean up. And the same thing, I'm going to clean all in around there so that we can get this case and to close in fully. So that'll keep commentator shaft happy what I will do is I'll take the heavy of it off with the drill first and uh, save all that dirt going in for the, for the shop blaster For here, I'll put on a different head on that. So, yeah, I'm a fan of these kind of old bits and pieces that you can kind of overhaul yourself. Probably good enough now for shop blasting. Um, so I'll go and do that and uh, I'll sure look, we'll see if we might be able to bring you with us. I don't know how high this goes. I did put you down in there. Turn on the, a bit of noise now, turn on the compressor. <laughs>
offered me there for the quality video there was a good it was didn't know what to focus on so that's that's fairly good i mean to do for what i want to do but it's so lovely so let's get the air gun now and blow all that away any of the excess bits and pieces if i have to then later on if i'm fiddling finish fiddling it and mauling it and getting it dirty i can give it another quick uh, shop last so you can see there's some job number on it there i'd say from years ago so yeah good then we can oil him grease him that bearing up and uh, we can clean up the, the bush and there the plate where the bush and goes and we can give him another quick rub of sandpaper and get him nice and shiny we can do a bit of work on that and that should be good to go. So the only other thing I'm after doing since is just clean up all of these here. There was some fairly bad grooves because the springs weren't put in the centre. You can see these were worn a little bit uneven, so the spring was put down too far down here. So you try and get the spring. You're fitting them into the centre, and it you want this you want the brush to to rub as evenly as possible. So I just took most of them grooves out, which it, it doesn't have to be perfect, but the better connection they make there, the more whack you're going to get out of this. And I scraped through there with a pick, a sharp pick, to make sure that there was no bits of metal in there that might connect them. That's all I do with them. So I need them kind of grooves there. Give them a little bit of a flatten out clean up fairly quick. This is copper. It's soft enough. You don't have to get them all out. It's just when you fit your new brushes with your spring behind them, just put it in the centre and it should it should uh, push them nice and flat and even against that. And when I was at it I just gave this a quick rub with finer sandpaper. That's the book where the bushing goes. So I also want to pick out a nice flat washer for with this and one that fits fairly snugly just too small just to keep everything nice and so we'll go with this lad there so that'll do that and we have we, we tread him already so I had a video on this already um, Make sure all those threads are okay, yeah. That's all right. Now, as far as this goes, I suppose it's no harm to clean them up. I think because there's that kind of glue in between them, the wire brush and the drill probably isn't ideal. I usually just clean these up a little bit. Don't cut them too much. Don't want too much dirt and dust and everything going down in there. And uh, just take the, the bad luck off them. Have to get blown out with the air, air gun. isn't making an electrical connection what's happening here is these two magnets in the dynamo here they're wrapped up in there one each side and they're opposite poles so they're trying to push away from each other we've all played with magnets when we were Garsoon when we were in our, when we were young and uh, we know that when you turn them one way the magnets will attract each other and they turn them the other way they want to push away from each other they're the opposite poles but, sorry when the same poles are turned towards each other the magnets want to push away and the opposites are turned towards each other they attract so what's happening in the dynamo location there is you have the same poles probably turned towards each other and there's that kind of opposition going on 
and then you have your your brushes here one's negative one's positive and that's opposing itself and then it starts turning so it uses a bit of power at the start for power the field coils and then once she starts spinning she'll start creating her own power some kind of weird magic goes on and a magnetic force creates power and this is a motor as well if you put your power into them connections on it it'll turn and that's another test for them quick test to see is everything working as we've seen in this case the rivet is loose so one of the connections going in and it wasn't happy I don't go over the top with this now as I said it's not an electrical connection it's to do with magnets so I'll just go and give that a quick blow out of the air gun clean this down to wire brush on the drill cleaned up things nicely there so it's definitely a uh, 12 volt and you can see the direction of rotation there as well so it is turning the right way on the tractor so that's good so I just want to address any of them burrs there because one issue you have with dynamos is the caps don't close fully and then the commentator shaft is uh, wraps in a bit or whatever Let's make sure there's no burrs there stopping that from closing fully taking this few seconds to do this could mean a nice quiet dynamo the very end I hit that with sandpaper. Bit of a burr there. Take him out of it. Whatever I'm doing here can be applied to basically any diamond. They're all in principle anyway. Precision engineering tools now for this kind of work. Some serious piece of metal though, compared to your later aluminium alternator. So we have to be perfect. It's all just hopefully that when we go putting it back together, our commentator shaft is nice and snug and the bearing and bushing can do their thing that's all it is for you can see someone was tapping it over the ears maybe thinking it would help it work air gun so there's our magnet there and there wrapped see a bit of the, car, the wire in there is exposed I probably hit it with a file 
will be fine that's it okay so we put this end a quick rub as well in case he feels left out and make sure there's no furs making sure we can see what we're working with this is a big dirty burr on it we're more likely to see him and get rid of him clean out in there that's where the back plate back and plate goes in there all of that all of this just helps Final result. Nice quiet dynamo. Putting out full whack. Right, that's good enough. Don't see any birds there at all. Really, but speaking about. So that's that. That's ready for uh, a prime. Once I give it a blowout of the air gun, I'm going to get him prime.